Well, hello everyone. Welcome. I'm Kate and this is a Fountain Pen Awakening. I hope you're all doing well wherever you are in the world and you had a lovely, merry, joyful Christmas with your dear ones. And if you don't celebrate Christmas, I wish you joy and happiness and that you had a fantastic few days off so far. And I had a quiet one, a celebration for one. I might insert a quick vid that I did of my feast for one. Hello everyone, Merry Christmas from me and from my Christmas feast for one. I'll just quickly turn the camera around so I can show you. Feast for one, al fresco dining. And I've got a lobster pot with prawns and scallops from Aldi. I've got green salad, I've got some salmon, and I've got some beautiful slices made by Kathy's mum for me. Caramel slice is the best caramel slice in the mm -mm world, peeps. And this is my trusty far and wide $10 Prosec. Amazing. And this is the pool, which I will be sleeping in, which I will be swimming in later on. Oh my god, the Prosec has gone to my head. Anyway, my loves, have a great Christmas. Love you all. From sunny Queensland to use. Ciao, Bethy. That I work in retail, unfortunately, I have to be at work on the 24th and then back on the 26th. So it doesn't really give me much time to do anything. And because my whole family is down in Melbs, I didn't really have time to travel down and celebrate with them. So that was fine. I was happy to just get up whenever and just, you know, make myself some nice brunch, lunch, have a day by the pool, just chill and do me because then the next day we have crazy boxing day here in Australia. I don't know if you know what boxing day is, but it's a day after Christmas where, especially in Australia, uh, the UK, maybe Canada, it's kind of like a, an English tradition, I guess, that it's super sale, like everyone goes crazy with sales. So we have adopted the, the Black Friday from the States in November. We only used to have the Boxing Day sales, which was like the 26th of December. So now we have both. Thankfully, we weren't crazy busy. Uh, it was busy, but not, you know, out of order, so to speak. So I kind of started at 11, was meant to finish at 4, but then I ended up staying back till 6. And then I had to walk on because I missed my bus. But it's all good, my friends, because then I had these next two or three days off. So I thought come on quickly to say hi or check in with you hope you're all doing well i didn't come on last week just for the simple fact with a lead on to christmas it was a bit crazy for me being in retail and um yeah so today i thought i'd just sort of quickly show you uh how my inks like i've inked up my inks from my latest ink haul in some pens i just wanted to sort of run that through with you um this is the ink haul from a couple of weeks back that I posted. Sorry, I just got some water on that. So it's a bit gone, all a bit messy. And most of them um, were my first wheel press inks uh, that I got. I got a couple of ink charger sets. One was a Lady Rose and one was the um, Twilight Garden. Now, the Troublemaker ink, the Copper Patina or Patina is beautiful. See how like shimmery, shimmery that is. So nice. The Ferris Wheel Press Oyster Hour, I really love. Um, Lady Rose, very dry ink, unfortunately. Grape Ice Pop, I like that. I've got that in my, I already had this as a sample, but happy to have it again. The Bluegrass Velvet, very similar in color to the Edwards Garden um, when you write with it. So I didn't, I inked it up. But then I thought, well, it's very similar to that, so I'll just put the Edwards Garden on. Now, this one I don't know if you can see, but it is quite a shimmer ink. Dusk in Bloom is a really nice kind of light blue. And the Mainstream Marmalade, I had heaps of trouble with. It's very, very dry. Very dry. So I kind of tried it in a couple of different pens. I tried it in my Lamy 1.1. And that was kind of, I was struggling with that. Before that, I had it in uh, my Pilot Matte. Again, that was super dry. So, yeah, that was a bit unfortunate because it's quite a nice colour. So, I don't know if you can see the troublemaker there, how that shimmers. And the Ferris Wheel Press, Edwards Garden. That's kind of, sh it's got, 
it's more subtle. It's sort of got that golden shimmer in it, and it should also have like a red sheen to it as well. But yeah, um, first wheel press scrape ice pop. I've got that in my palette. Matte Lady Rose is super dry. It's a super dry ink, unfortunately. I've got that in my um, Twisby Classic in the 1.1. Oyster Hour. Oh, I love this color. It's kind of a champagne, a champagne beige, I guess. And the Dusk in Bloom is this light blue. So practically I've got my Lady Rose, which is in, in my um, Twisby Classic. And then I have the Oyster Hour. I've got that in my Sailor Pro. It's right, so super smooth. Um, I had a lady comment that she's got the um, Lady Rose uh, ink and she reckons it's a really pale Rose, you can't even see, which is um, quite interesting to me, because I get I get I get a really dusky, dusky pink from that, to be honest. And then I've got my Ferris wheel press grape ice pop in my crock, which is my pilot matte. And this this ink, guys, is so lubricated; it writes really, really well. I love it. Then I've got my Dusk in Bloom, again, Ferris Wheel Press, um, in my trusty pilot in the Goldie. And, yeah, it's a nice kind of blue, well, yeah, pale blue, I guess. And it's not too pale. You can actually kind of see it when you write with it. So, see? Don't mind that at all. It kind of dries. Yeah, it sort of goes on a little bit darker. It does dry a little bit paler. And then I thought I'd put the Ferris Wheel Press, this Edwards Guard, and I put it in my um, and in my Twisby Mini because I had the Troublemaker ink in there, which uh, with this pen it just didn't give me any trouble with the shimmer in it. So... I thought I'd put it back in here. Writes really well, no trouble at all with my little twist. It's got the 1.1 nib on it. But I'm, um, you know, it's okay. It's an okay ink, but I prefer the butterfly dream that I had in it, that sort of green with that sort of light purple shimmer, I guess, it had to it. And I'm really loving, I am really loving the Troublemaker Copper Patina, even if it, it is kind of like a turquoise, a light turquoise colour, it's got kind of this gold shimmer to it. And I put it in, I put it in my skull kill, and it really, you know, writes super well with it. Oh, how to spell skull kill again? I can never remember. And this is a shimmer ink. So it kind of goes on a little bit dark when I first write with it that I haven't written with it for a while. And that kind of tends to sort of, you know, get lighter and lighter. So I always have to remember to kind of like, you know, move it around to get those particulates moving. Yeah, so they're quite nice. I'm enjoying those. Um, this is so, it's just so smooth, this ink, this um, great ice pop. I love it. And the Lady Rose, because it uh, writes so dry, I did decide to put it in my classic because it does write a little bit wetter, that one. So that works well. And anything works well in, <laughs> in, in the good old Stella Pro. So that's all good. So that's my latest ink haul. And then I was, thought I would just sort of show you how... I use up my inks and, and you know, oops, sorry, there's kind of all sort of breezes blowing in here because I've got my um, 
I've got my fan on, it's quite a warm day. I had to close all my windows because I'm in my room so you can't hear the pump because otherwise it's super noisy. So what I do is this is this is my um, composition book and in here I just, you know, write, 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 write. I copy books, I copy any, anything that comes under hand. I just um, do, you know, sample writings and I do some sketches. I sort of, you know, test out my my um, inks and what they look like. And here I, I was trying to write, you know, get rid of this colour because I wanted to... Oh, my candle's gone out. Um, so I sort of do a bit of sketches. This is, was an Italian um, recipe book that I was copying from and hence why the sketches. And so I was trying to get rid of this ink and then finally I got rid of it and then I started with the new ink in there. Um, and then I kind of have fun <laughs> trying to colour coordinate the inks and just, you know, practising my lettering. Here it's sometimes when you know how you swap out your inks and you've flushed your pen and then you put a new ink in. Sometimes the ink takes a while to come through. So, you know, like I, I do this so the ink comes through slowly, slowly. So I thought I'd just show you that. And then here, this is the marmalade. The St. James Marmalade from that uh, from the Twilight um, Ferris Wheel Press ink set, and um, yeah, so dry. I tried it out in my Lamy 1.1 in um, in my Vista. I mean, everything writes in here at the moment. I've got the Pilot, a Pilot ink in there, which is a bright orange one. But um, yeah, like so, I started it off in my Pilot Met in Goldie but it was just so dry and and it will kind of write and then it just you know dry up and not not write so I thought okay I'll take it out and put it in the Lamy that's got the 1.1 um, nib on it and writes quite well I mean anything I put in there even like you know like a shimmer ink I had um, the Ferris wheel Queen and Castle which was a shimmer ink and that wrote really super well so anyway I tried it not working so I gave up that's actually really a really nice colour. So there you have it, my friends. So this is kind of, and also I like to kind of do it on a daily basis, just get all my pens out and give them a bit of a, you know, a go just to see that the ink hasn't dried up or there's, you know, no ink flow issues and just to make sure that they're all kosher. You know, bring them all out, have a bit of a play around. <laughs> And just, I enjoy the sense. It's just something that relaxes me. Once I've done my chores or once I've come back from work or whatever, and I just get my pens out and have a play around. And to me, that's chill time. You know, that's how I relax. That's how I unwind. And it's, it's kind of like a meditation, to be honest, because you're, you're in the moment. You know, you're present. So, you know, you're not really, you know, stressing. You're sort of, everything sort of calms down and, and you just do your thing. Sometimes it just, as I said in my previous videos, you know, chuck on my earphones and listen to an audio book or some music. And yeah, there you have it. So just thought I'd come on real quick, say hi, Ash, and, um, and just check in. So thank you again, everyone, for watching, for participating in my channel, for subscribing, for commenting. I love it. I love you all. I appreciate you all. And I will see you in my next one. Ciao, Wendy.